everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little reading vlog. I am really trying to get into the fall spirit. Unfortunately for me, it's like 90 degrees outside. It doesn't feel like it's fall, but it's my favorite season. I'm trying to feel the vibes. So we're reading spooky books, some moody books in this video, and kind of baking. Not really. I guess you'll see. But yeah, without further ado, Let's get into the reading vlog. The first book I'm going to be reading for today's video is The Reappearance of Rachel Price. I absolutely love Holly Jackson's writing. I read the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy like back in 2021, I want to say. And then I actually listened to Five Survive. I didn't love that book, but I actually have started this book. I am right now on page 55 and I've really been liking this. I think she's a great, great author. The reason I even picked up this book, I'm very much in a thriller mystery mood. I was looking up TikToks of the aesthetic of this book to try and figure out which book I wanted to pick up off of my TBR shelf. And first off, the sprayed edges that came out, I don't know what edition of this book it is, but basically this was what the sprayed edges were on the edition that I saw online. That is so cool. But while I was at work today and I was reading, because I was using my dust jacket as a bookmark, which usually when I read hardcovers, I never leave the dust jackets on. But look at the hardcover. That is sick. That is so cool. I'm right now reading this book and I've really been enjoying it. What it is about so far is our main character and her family. She is the daughter of a woman who went missing and she actually was kind of involved in the case. We are following right now when a documentary crew is doing a documentary about the mom. Given the title, I guess the mom comes back. She hasn't come back yet, so I don't know what's going to happen or how that's going to evolve. I will say when I was looking up TikTok aesthetic videos of the book. I kind of gave myself a spoiler, but I'm not sure fully what the spoiler means. I'm sure as I get through the book, I'll kind of understand what it was getting at. Yeah, I'm reading this. I was listening to some of the audiobook, and I also really did enjoy the audiobook. If you don't have a physical copy of the book and you have Spotify, I would recommend listening to the audiobook. You're going to get the same experience. And honestly, I feel like the audiobook, I was able to visualize it a bit better than when I've just been sitting reading. Tonight, I'm just going to sit, chill out, read for a little bit, and I will come back with some updates on the reappearance of Rachel Price. <laughs> Whoa, the mom's back. Okay. No, I bet it's an actor. It's got to be an actor. Yeah, it's an actor. Okay, never mind. The mom's not back. False alarm. Sorry. finished the reappearance of Rachel Price. So I finished this book and I loved it so much. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 star. I love Holly Jackson as a YA thriller mystery author. Even though she writes within the YA genre, she's constantly, I think, pushing the boundary of how far she can go before, you know, maybe it would need to jump into the next age range. This storyline was so interesting. I think this is honestly maybe my favorite book that she's come out with. Jolie McAdoo is how you say her last name. She had talked about the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series and how that book really could have just been a one book series. And I really agree with that. I think Holly Jackson makes great standalone books. And I think the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, the way that that ended kind of didn't make the series feel like fully a five star. It kind of felt like that book should have just been a standalone. And I think personally, she she is just like a great author that should continue to just do YA thriller standalones. I'm very excited to see what she comes out with next. There is a romance in this book that I didn't love, not because I didn't like the character or the characters and how they interacted with each other, but more so because I read this book pretty much in like two sittings and I didn't feel a romantic chemistry. I felt more of a best friend chemistry between those two characters. Besides 
for that, a 4.5. I loved this book. It was so good and I'm so glad that I read this because this has been on my TBR show for quite some time now. For the second book of this video, I am in still this like thriller, wanting to read something dark type of mood and I'm not gonna lie, I was already reading some of the book that I decided to read. I went on my Kindle and I was looking at books that I had saved. The books that I did have saved on my Kindle, I wasn't super interested in and especially the thrillers and I only have one physical thriller on my TV my TBR. I only have one physical thriller book on my TBR. So I decided to actually read a book that I downloaded on my Kindle, but I never really thought I was going to actually pick up just because it is a genre and a type of book that I've never read anything similar to. And the book is Slewfoot by Brom. I don't fully understand what this is about. It is a sort of witchy female rage story. It takes place in the 1600s Puritan era of Connecticut and we're following our main character who is married to this man. She is having to deal with, I don't know, the Puritan age. I've only read one chapter so I don't really know a full lot about it but from my understanding she comes into contact with what is this book's version of the devil or Satan. I'm really enjoying, I'm 10% into it, one chapter into it. The chapters are really long is the only thing but I'm really liking it. It feels just like dark and evil and again, it feels like something I've never read, so I'm really enjoying that. I don't know how long this is going to take me to read. It feels like it might be a pretty fast read, and hopefully I keep liking this book. So yeah, I think honestly that's all I'm going to do tonight is just read. I'm in such a reading mood, which is really good because I was scared I was going to burn out when I started this video, but this book, this book was perfect to get me back in the phase of wanting to read a lot, so... Thank you, Holly Jackson. Read this if you've not already read this. And now I'm gonna read on my Kindle. I have unfortunate news. I think I'm gonna DNF Slewfoot. I'm right now 44% into the book and I really like the book. However, I'm really not in the mood to read the book and I don't think I will be in the mood to read the book anytime soon. What this book is about so far is our main character, Abatha. I think I already kind of mentioned this takes place in the 1600s Puritan Christian, I think it's Connecticut. Because it takes place in that time, you know, women don't have rights. It's very religious religious, there is everyone scared of Satan and demons or whatever. Something happens and our main character is forced to basically provide a crop, otherwise she is in a lot of trouble. And there is also a, another POV of what is supposed to be like the demon of the woods. And they end up meeting and he kind of has been helping her. And I don't really know what's going to happen in this story, like I am very intrigued to like, I wanna know how this story ends, but I don't wanna know it enough to actually read the book. Hey, sorry. Unfortunately, this book also isn't an audiobook on Spotify. Otherwise, I would listen to this if it was an audiobook. I'm right now on page 136, and I do think I am gonna DNF it, unfortunately. I'm not feeling it. I don't really wanna read it, and I really just want to read books that I wanna read. I'm actually going to read The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I really wanna read another thriller, so I think that is going to be the end of this video, I guess. Not, I feel bad ending it on a DNF. It is what it is. Unfortunately, this week we are going back into like the 90 degree weather, but at least this week I had a little taste of fall and the cold weather and everything. I'm looking forward to the season and all the videos I'm gonna make. So yeah, so that is all for today's little fall reading vlog. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. I think my next fall reading vlog, I wanna have a little bit more of an atmospheric, be outside with the leaves changing color, maybe go to a coffee shop and read, little reading vlog, but that that was all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my last video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.